This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. If you would like to follow along with this lesson, navigate to Working Files, Lesson 5, Behaviors Overview. Before we begin, let's set the play range of our project. Move the playhead to 2 seconds and 21 frames. Press Command Option I to set the play range. Move the playhead to frame 610 and set the play range out by pressing Command Option O. Now if we play back the project, it plays between those two markers. Behaviors can be applied to a layer in many different ways. Select Splat 02. We are going to apply a fade in, fade out behavior to this layer. In the library, navigate to Behaviors, Basic Motion. Inside of Basic Motion, we can find Fade In, Fade Out. We can drag the behavior to the clip in the Layers pane, to the clip on the canvas, or to the clip in the Timing pane. As you can see when we release the mouse, the Fade In, Fade Out behavior is applied to the Splat 02 movie and has the same in and out points as the clip. Let's undo that by pressing Command Z. Ensure that Splat 02 is selected. Another way to add a behavior is to select the behavior and choose Apply. Again, this adds the behavior to the clip at the same in and out points. Let's undo that. Press Command Z. And with Splat 02 selected, choose from the pop up menu Basic Motion, Fade In and Out. There's another way we can create the Fade In, Fade Out behavior, and that's using a parameter behavior. Undo the fade in, fade out, and with Splat 02 selected, choose the Inspector, Properties, Opacity. If you mouse over Opacity, we see a pop up menu appear to the right. From here, we can add a behavior and choose Ramp. The Ramp value allows us to ramp the opacity over time. If we set the end value to negative 100, Our clip fades out over time. We can change what parameter is being affected by choosing Inspector, Behaviors, Apply To. As you can see, it is being applied to Properties, Blending, Opacity. We can assign this to any property by choosing it from the pop up menu. We can also apply parameter behaviors from the heads up display. Select Splat 02. Show the heads up display and control or right click on any parameter. Behaviors can also be applied to a group. If we applied a behavior to the ink group, it treats the ink group as one entire object. If we choose simulation, gravity, Gravity is applied to the group and affects all objects the same. However, with behaviors, if you apply them to a group, you have an option to affect sub-objects. This is essentially the same as applying the behavior to each individual layer inside the group. If you ever apply a behavior to a group and get unexpected results, make sure this button is checked. You do have the option to apply the same behavior to multiple objects at the same time. For instance, if we want to apply the fade in, fade out to Splat 2 and Splat 3 at the same time, we can hold down the Command key and select both layers. From the pop-up menu, choose Basic Motion, Fade in, Fade out. This applies the fade in, fade out behavior to both clips at the same time. We can see in the Layers palette a gear indicating there is a behavior assigned to this clip. If we open the Disclosure Triangle, we can see the behavior was applied and matches the in and out points of each clip. Keyframes will be discussed in depth in a later chapter. At this point, I just want to show you if you open up the keyframe editor, select Splat 03. If you do not see opacity listed, choose Animated from the drop down. Now we see two distinct lines a dotted line and a solid line. 
The dashed line can have keyframes applied to it. However, the solid line cannot. It is indicating that a behavior is creating the animation. 